Let me answer all your questions and concerns related to matte screen protector. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Navi and it's lovely to have you. Today I'm going to share my experience after using this IKS matte screen protector for more than 10 months on my 2020 iPad Pro. I made a video about why I changed screen protector from glass to matte and what was my thinking process behind that. After making that video, I've got a lot of questions from you guys about various concerns. So without wasting more time, let's see those questions in random order. First and the most asked question is, does it really affect the screen quality? And the answer is yes. It certainly does affect the screen quality and compared to tempered glass screen protector or naked screen. If you don't know the reason, then let me tell you. It happens because this screen protector also provides a feeling of writing on piece of paper and provides some resistance using very tiny dots. These dots help with that sensation of writing on piece of paper. And due to that, it marginally affects the screen quality. And if you're someone who cannot compromise with the screen quality for watching videos or Netflix, then this screen protector is not for you. But for other people who uses their iPad for occasional writing, I highly recommend getting this screen protector. Second question, does it wear your Apple Pencil tip? And the answer is maybe, maybe not. In my case, which is, I would say moderate, I use it to take notes when I'm working or when I'm studying. In the past 10 months of using it, I haven't seen any damage or wear on my Apple Pencil tip. So maybe if you are a designer or an artist who would use it like all the time, you might see that it wears your Apple Pencil tip. But for majority of us out there, it is not something to be worried about. Third question, does it actually feel like you're writing on paper? In my view, it is certainly better than writing on glass, but it is not exactly like paper. It does produce that sound and provide some resistance, but the sensation is far from the feeling that you get when you're writing on an actual piece of paper. So it is somewhere in middle. If you don't have any screen protector on your iPad, then you will see a lot of difference. Next question, do I regret my decision of changing to this screen protector? Without any doubt, I do not regret it at all. In fact, I totally love this screen protector. And I know many people, when they use my iPad for writing, they realize how good it is. So if you're someone like me who use the iPad for taking notes, etc., and do not want to spend like $35 on paper like, then go with it. Next question. How about scratches? There are few scratches on its surface due to daily use, but nothing too bad to say it scratches easily. It is good for something that comes for $8 or quarter of the cost of paper light. Next question, question number six, how is the fit and is it case friendly? Fit and finish of this screen protector is fine. I've used it with like three different types of cases and it fits perfectly. No issues at all related to that. And the last question is how easy is it to apply this screen protector? On the scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the easiest and 10 being the most difficult, I would say it is like 3. There is definitely some work, but it is straightforward and is comparatively easy to apply without too much hassle. In summary, it has served me really well so far. I understand if you don't like it based on your use case, but according to my lifestyle and the way I use my iPad, I think I'm pretty happy with this. Those were my answers based on my experience to the most frequently asked questions. Let me know in the comment section if you have any other questions and would like to see another review. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I see most of you are not subscribing to my channel. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to exercise today.